President Obama said the Belgium bombings are another reminder the world must unite to fight terrorism. Al Jazeera's Mike Becerra reports from Havana, where the president used an address to the Cuban people to promise solidarity. In Havana, President Obama began his much-anticipated speech to the citizens of an old enemy with a pledge for a close ally. We will do whatever is necessary to support our friend and ally Belgium in bringing to justice those who are responsible. Mr. Obama called for a unified fight against what he referred to as the scourge of terrorism. We can and we will defeat those who threaten the safety and security of people all around the world. The White House released this photo of the President and National Security Advisor Susan Rice in an early morning call with top security aides back in Washington. Later, Mr. Obama called Belgian Prime Minister Charles Michel and offered his condolences, while Speaker of the House Paul Ryan expressed his solidarity with Belgium. As our countries have always done, we must confront this threat together. We must defend democracy and defeat terror. Testifying before Congress, Secretary of Defense Ash Carter said the military coalition against ISIL is vital, but it's only one part of the fight. We need the intelligence, we need the homeland security, we need the law enforcement, and so do our partners uh, because of the kind of thing you saw in uh, Brussels this morning. Meanwhile, at Chicago's O'Hare Airport, there were long lines and beefed up security. It was a similar scene at Penn Station in New York, where Mayor Bill de Blasio tried to reassure the public. There is no specific and credible threat against New York City at this time, but we are in a high state of vigilance and readiness. The NYPD's top counterterrorism official says attacks like the one in Brussels can provide lessons for law enforcement. What can we learn from what they can tell us and teach us, uh, whether it's the actions of the terrorists or whether it's the advice we get from the local authorities. There were Republican critics who said President Obama should cut short his trip and return home immediately to Washington to deal with the problem of terror. But in an interview late on Tuesday, the president said the entire premise of terror is to disrupt people's lives. And late on Tuesday, he boarded Air Force One en route to his next stop on the trip, Argentina. Mike Becerra, Al Jazeera, Havana, Cuba.